What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Project Cars Go brought to you by Gameville, believe it or not. This is a brand new collectathon racing game that just came out yesterday. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links down in the description below though. So do let's go though. Taking it from the top, yo. Starting off with the cars that you can collect. Now, as you guys know, I am an absolute gearhead. So, you know, I'm a little biased when it comes to racing games. I absolutely love street racers. Um, so we have, you know, kind of the usual suspects. I'm rocking my Ford Mustang is a free car. There's Honda Civics. There's Lancers in the place to be. You got cars that never made it to the United States. The GT86 up here in the tier two is kind of where some of my favorite cars are. DB11, the Camaro, a Ferrari I'll never have, an AMG GT, which is an absolute beast of a car. This is one awesome, awesome vehicle. So, you know, kind of the usual suspects when it comes to cars you can collect here. Here is the dual engine NXX hybrid right here as well. Um, I will say, and this is very biased and very subjective, I'm more partial to like street racers. I'm not really into like actual race cars and F1 vehicles and stuff like this. So for me, it makes the roster of cars a little smaller. But once again, that's that's super subjective. If you love like cars like this, then there's plenty of them. Um, as you can see, once you get to kind of like tier two, tier three, tier five, it's mostly like race car driver, car type things of some sort. Um, so not my cup of tea, but there you go. So let's go ahead and jump on into the gameplay. Um, racing is a very, very easy right now. Jumping over here to race five. This is a stamina based game, so it's gonna cost me five gasolina um, to jump into a race. And as you can see, it's very straightforward. You tap to shift gears, you hold to brake, and you release to accelerate. So, one thing you did not see on that screen was how to steer, because this is not a game that you steer on at all. You just kind of let the car drive. So, Mario Kart it, Mario Kart it, Mario Kart it, perfect. I'm not touching anything on the screen. The car is just driving. But I tap to shift, I'm holding a brake, I'm releasing to go. Right now, no fingers on the screen, no thumbs, no toes, no nothing. Tap to shift, brake, oh, this is a long one, and then release. And that's the game, my friend. It's kind of like a little a little tap mini game extravaganza. Um, I would say that it's more engaging than the Need for Speed game that we saw that I think, I think my rating on the tier list was like a D. I'm pretty sure I gave it like a D or an F. I forgot. It was a pretty bad rating um, because I felt like the game just didn't really, it had like no tracks. The, the actual gameplay and the racing left a lot to be desired. Here on the flip side, there are a lot more variety when it comes to tracks in this game at least. Um, but I will say that the gameplay in my opinion gets pretty repetitive pretty quickly. Um, let's go ahead and do a few more races here so you guys can kind of get a feel for what you're going to be doing every single race, right? So you get out of the race, you jump back in, spin your gas. Um, so far I've unlocked straight racing and drag racing. So it, it feels pretty much exactly the same here. So right now I need to warm up my tires. So let's, uh, I'm holding the screen. I'm trying to keep it in the blue, trying to keep it in the blue. Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart it! <laughs> get my tires nice and warm. Once again, try to get it in that band. Wasn't that good. And then shift. And I kind of feel like if you wait for to kind of go over the line in the middle of your car, it's the best shift you can get. But that, that's pretty much it, man. It's a very simple, straightforward game. Is it better than a Need for Speed game that we saw? Yes, it is. Is that saying a lot? Not really, <laughs> not really at all. Um, also, as far as graphics are concerned, I have the game on a max graphics. Um, this is intense level, um, looking like it's running without a hitch. Um, there is no frame rate limitations whatsoever. So, you know, it looks like a, a pretty well-performing, decently, uh, I would say decently good um, loading times here. Let's, let's take a look here. Let's take a gander. Yeah, load times aren't bad either. So all the way around, if you're itching for a racer game that's better than the Need for Speed game, but you still want to have that kind of collect aspect, um, you know, you could you could do worse than <laughs> you could do worse than Project Cars Go. And the name of that game is Need for Speed. But I forgot the the subtext that goes along with it. It's Need for Speed, crappy race. I don't know. It's something I forgot. The, I forgot the extra title that went along with that game. But here we go. And like I said. Nice variety of tracks. It's not just nighttime tracks. It's not just street tracks. You know, good variety. And you can see the speed really picking up here. And I'm just driving this old school, you know, 209 cubic inches of Ford Mustang power. Um, imagine if you're actually racing one of those uh, F1 cars on tracks like this. I can imagine the speed gets really intense. And maybe then, you know, the tapping gets a little bit more involved, you know. 
Got the combo breaker here giving me flashbacks to Killer Instinct. Don't appreciate that. Shout out to Saber Wolf. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Like, Saber Wolf players, like, he's like, come on, let's be real. Saber Wolf is like one of the easiest characters to use. And of course, I used him. <clears throat> Sidebar. So that's the racing. Um, let's go ahead and go back on over to the home screen so I can show you what you're going to be doing with all of these cars. And I think I have enough currency to do some type of opening. But I haven't done any. I've just been using the free car. I haven't really jumped into anything at all. Um, so we showed the cars. Of course, the game has some boxes. So they cost me 500. Hello, Suzanne. Uh, let's see. I got some money, some cash shop currency. I have some mods here, which are going to give me improvements to my ride. Um, doesn't look like I can get any full cars out of there, but maybe you can in some of these higher end uh, loot boxes. But, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing for that long. Um, you can customize your car so you can do different paint jobs. But it's kind of weird. If you change the color of your car, you pay money for it, which is fine. Um, but you don't actually unlock that color. So if you decide to go red and you go white and you want to go back to red, you don't actually own the color red. You have to pay for it again. Here's my little special one. Um, you can actually mix paints together. So I can just take a bunch of paints paints, mix them together. Now I have clear violet. Look at that. So those you can actually keep. So now I have a nice little violet um, purple. I don't want to mix anymore. I'm done with mixing. Um, what else do we have here? We have some, like some actual like patterns. So I can go camo. I can go this really obnoxious like chrome color. And then there's also some liveries. Liver I, don't, I don't know what that is, but this is also going to be some additional customizations you can do to your car as well. And what game would be complete without some upgrades? So as you uh, acquire cash and races, you can use that cash to upgrade your car's top speed, acceleration, cornering, shifting, and all of this stuff is very noticeable while you're driving in your car. And as you can see, a nice little upgrade time here, but nothing too crazy, um, especially with a game like this that has stamina. It's actually pretty easy to kind of... Uh, time out those timers and get back to work. Um, in addition to, you know, the racing, the upgrading, of course, there are going to be missions and dailies that you can get, which are also going to, of course, give you, look at that. I got myself a nice color gray there. Give me some achievements. That's going to give me another achievement box, which gave me blue. And I have the livery for the 4GT. Okay. Um, you can add friends. And then later on, you can actually unlock clubs, aka guilds, alliances, squads, whatever you want to call it. And that is a pretty much the game. Very straightforward. Um, you know, like I said, if you are looking for some type of racing game to play on your mobile phone, um, you know, it's kind of like that in between. This is like a, a very streamlined mobile arcade racer. Ver it, it's in between that and like the high end simulation games, which really require a lot more paying attention, steering, things of that nature. So if you don't want to go too far to the simulation side and you don't want to go too far to the arcade side, I think that this game is a nice little middle ground. So there you have it once again. My name is FG3000. I thank you a ton for watching. Losing my voice. It's first thing in the morning. It's not even awake yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out.